Hey everybody, Goat from Goat and Hog here, back with another introduction to the classes in Smite for Xbox One. In this one we're going to cover the Assassin. Now the Assassin is a hard class to play, but when played well is a very, very pro big problem for the enemy team. Uh, there's a couple of different ways it can be played, which took me a little bit to figure out, in that you have two different types. One type is going to be doing damage based on the abilities that they use. The other type is going to be doing damage based on their auto attacks. So we'll cover that again here in a second. But what is an assassin? You want to go and look for gods that are busy. You want to go and pick off gods that are doing something else, come from behind, come from the side, and do a quick burst. you got like five seconds and you want them dead. You don't want to be hanging around. You don't want to try to sustain damage. Now, how does that work? Here's the two types we're talking about. One type is use your abilities like a mage. Cast them, do a whole bunch of damage, all your abilities are burnt up, and you're done. The other type is more like a hunter. You're going to activate those abilities to get in and get out, but all your damage is going to come from your basic attacks. Now, Bastet here, she's a good starter one. She's one of the ones I like to, to get people introduced to the style. She has high mobility with this pounce. The Razor Whip allows you to... Uh, put a damage over time on and it makes the cats from the ultimate that she has attack that specific target and your declaw is a great poke or finisher now the deal is she is more of the type where you're gonna kind of get in activate an ability do those things get out your her auto attacks aren't doing a whole lot of damage because you don't want to hang around for that arachne on the other hand she's the type where you want to activate all your abilities, but then hit them a whole bunch of times. So Venomous Bite there gets you your health back. Cocoon will tie things up. Web will slow things down and spawn little spiders and also speed you up. And Nightcrawler allows you to run around unimpeded and get in and get out of situations. And Predator, last but not least, the more damage something is, the better you do. Arachne is a very good jungler. That is something else you can do as an assassin, especially in Conquest. You want to go around and get those jungle camps take those all out and she with all those abilities works very well at that last but not least we're going to move over here in a second to thor now thor is one that is he's a pretty good all around once you figured out the whole class style because you're going to feel like you can do a whole bunch of damage but you can't take much so the throwing of the hammer here with Mjolnir's attunement that allows you to kind of warp in and warp out of things allows you to run allows you to close allows you to do a big damage when you hit somebody twice Tectonic Rift, you can wall people in, stun them, very handy to get away, to initiate fights, to peel someone off of another person. The Spin to Win, otherwise known as Berserker, Bar Berserker Barrage, deals, that's what you do. You use this Anvil of Dawn ultimate, get in, then spin around and just hit everything there. And why would you want to hit everything? Because Warrior's Madness allows for that you boost up your physical power. So he's the type of god, again, that is going to be activate your abilities, do all your damage. Your auto attacks aren't the biggest thing. You want to just come in, hit them, and be done. A good rule of thumb that you can look at to try to figure out which type yours is, is to uh, check the boots. So, how do you play him? Acting casual was a little joke here. You want to come in from the side. I came in here while the fight was already getting started between those two guys. It was uh, against another Thor, and I thought he was going to go past the tower. He decided to come back and try to fight, so I used my ultimate to go up in the air, and I'm going to cut off his retreat. Boom. Kill. We're done. We didn't take very long in that entire fight. We didn't want to. You don't want a fair fight. You're an assassin. You want to get in there, do your damage, and get out. Now, what should you be using? So, as I was talking about a jungler, Thor's actually a very good jungler too. Most assassins are. There's quite a few of them that are, I should say. Bumba's Mask, that's going to get you your life back. Every camp that you kill, every creature in the camp that you kill, gives you back life. Perfect. Hand of the Gods, you want that because level 1 gets you 90 seconds, level 2 is 60 seconds, and the, what will happen is that allows you to just do big damage, wipe out the majority of a camp so you don't have to stay there too long. As I mentioned the boots, Warrior's Tab Eye for uh, we're on Arachne here. She's the type where you're going to want to do in one big damage and be done. You can tell because it is an attack speed bonus. Jotun's Wrath is a, almost a must for just about every assassin. It does a whole bunch of damage, penetration, cooldown reduction. It's an all-around good weapon. Now after this, I'm scrolling around because there's a whole bunch of different options you have. You don't want to use Titan's Bane just yet. That's an endgame item because of its percentage-based dealing of penetration. But Shifter's Shield I like because usually about the fourth item, you're running into fights. You want to be able to have defense when you're low in health and offense when you have high health. So, very handy weapon for them. Uh, very handy item, I should say, for them. Now, if you're running one of the types that's doing a lot of basic attacks, 
you want to do kind of like a hunter, you're going to build some rage, some deathbringer. If you're doing the type that's the physical and you got to chase them down, Witchblade is a good one because it makes it so that they aren't attacking as fast and your attack speed is boosted. Very, very good. So Titan's Bane I'm going to pick up now just because I want to tell you it's a good item. That is one of your last items you want to have. And what you can often do is just sell off your starter item. Or if you're not playing Conquest, don't pick up a starter item. Just move this way along. Now Witchblade, as I mentioned, that is going to boost your attack speed, cut their attack speed so they can't hit you as fast. So in a little duel, you'll do better. Um... Active-wise, Fist of the Gods is a great thing. Ward is a great thing. Fist of the Gods is built off the Hand of the Gods, and what that does, it's a free stun. That allows you to stun an enemy god around you, plus still use it to clear camps. So an all-around great thing. I don't know why you wouldn't get it if you're in Conquest, and heck, it's even fun when you're in Joust and everything. You just want to run up and stun somebody. So other items that are good, there's the Ninja Tabai. If you're the type of god that attacks high basic attacks, then you're going to want, or fast basic attacks, you're going to want to pick that up. You'll see that in your recommended. It's a good rule of thumb. It's not the greatest, but it is a good rule of thumb you can work with as you get going. Winged Blade, that means well, you're immune to slows, or not immune, but they don't work as well on you. Hydra's Lament, that's another great one. There's a lot of good offensive items you can use. Hydra's Lament cutting down on attack speed as well again, and Hasten Fatalis, also another good one, so that uh, when you're attacking someone, you can chase them better. So I hope you enjoyed this. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss more.